Hi folks, this is Robin from Red Fez here. I just want to talk to you today um, about VLANs and subnets and a creative solution we've come up with in the office here uh, to create a VLAN and a subnet. Now, I purchased this Allied Telesyn AT FS7024 managed switch from eBay for £10. An absolute bargain and um, the reason why I purchased it was because I wanted a switch that would allow me to split my network into two. What we want to do in the office here is create a, a subnet that we can use or a VLAN that we can use for client PCs so we can connect them up to the internet and make sure that we can get them updated, update any antivirus but at the same time keep them separate and isolated from our main network. It's good security practice to do that. We, I was using this old Dynamode switch, um, which is a great switch, not, not a problem with it, but it's an unmanaged switch, so it basically doesn't really do anything particularly clever. So we've um, installed this new Allied Telesyn switch and split it. So the first eight ports are part of VLAN 1, the second eight ports are part of VLAN 2 and the third group of eight ports are also part of VLAN 1 and I've done it that way is because you can see where the cables are going so we have uh, some devices on the network off to the right and some devices on the network off to the left so just split it that way and then in the middle uh, we've got VLAN 2. Now that's all well and good um, but it is just a layer to switch. So you've created a VLAN, but what it hasn't actually created is a separate network with a separate range of IP addresses, etc., etc. In order to do that, we need to be able to connect VLAN 2 up to uh, a, a DHCP server or router and, and create that separate network. Now, obviously, I only have one router. And the router that I'm using is the ISP provided one. So it doesn't really have the ability to create uh, VLANs itself and create subnets. However, however, it does have its own isolated network and that's its guest Wi-Fi network. And now a lot of routers these days come with a guest Wi-Fi network and they're great to use. So if your friends are around or you've got guests, you can give them the guest Wi-Fi password. They can get on the internet but they can't actually get onto anything on your network. And that's exactly what I want our client PCs to be able to do. So what I've done is I've basically connected in to that guest Wi-Fi network. And I've, I've done that by using this box up here, which is a Sky wireless connector. These were built for the Sky satellite boxes um, to convert them into Wi-Fi devices. The, the uh, earlier ones only came with an Ethernet connection, and as people started to use wireless, uh, you could get that wireless connector to convert your box to wireless, rather than the later edition of the box with wireless in them. And I thought, well, actually, I should be able to connect that up wirelessly to the uh, guest Wi-Fi on my router, and connect it into LAN, uh, VLAN 2 on the switch, and essentially what we've done is converted the guest Wi-Fi into a guest network. And that works really, really well. So what we've got going into VLAN 2 here is um, an Ethernet cable from the Sky Wireless connector. And I've just labelled that AirTies uplink. Labelled it AirTies uplink because the box is actually made by a company called AirTies. Okay. So uh, I think that was a, a creative solution. It does work. We've now got a uh, switch with uh, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. So we've got that separate network that we need. I can access it from the office. I can plug uh, client computers in and they're isolated and separate from the main network. So, um, hope you enjoyed that video. Please feel free uh, to comment, um, like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon with some more videos. Thank you.